his side of was crazy. He beat Looney and Vivi. Yo. Okay. Oh yeah, Penta. Um. Yeah. He's um. He is a OG brawl, Smash Four game and watch, and Lucina. Um. But like most, I've mostly seen the game and watch nowadays, and uh, he's pretty solid, pretty good. He's also um, HO3K if you didn't see. Yes. So. I haven't seen too much of him, although um, I haven't seen too much Game & Watch now that I think about it. There's been a lot of speculation about him being, oh, uh, he's sleeper tier, everyone sleeps on him, he's not that great, this and that. Um, so I'm interested to see how he plays out against a pretty well-defined, highly considered, like, high top tier like Valentine. Yeah. Um, Game & Watch is kind of weird because um, a lot of a lot of Game & Watch's options, like, they got buffed in a way. Uh, forward, air, forward air is just different. Mm -hmm. Um, down smash is down smash is better. Uh, down air is better. A lot of the aerials got you know got buffed somewhat. It's just now Game and Watch doesn't really have he doesn't have the up throw uh, fifty feature or the up throw um, ding dong window. Mm -hmm. um, now he mostly goes for down smashes to try to bury you and then forward smash you. Mm -hmm. So that's how and and edge guards. So that's how primarily Game and Watch to get their kills. And you have the up smash. Yes. Um, Having had a sparring partner throughout Smash 4 who played Game & Watch, uh, he is very unusual to play against in that his neutrals sort of seems like it doesn't have goals at times. Like, oh, he just gets this damage here and there. Let me get these Nair strings. Let me get a grab into some combo game. And then you're dead. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, what happened? Did I get hit by the 9? Did I get hit by the meme? But no, you just... You just get this percent that seems to come out of nowhere, especially with Game & Watch's animations being sometimes deceptive to whiff punish, or like, oh, is this good to go in on? Is this safe? So on and so forth. So without matchup experience, he can be very unusual to fight. Yeah, the character can be very ambiguous at times. Like that down smash is very ambiguous, because mostly if it hits your shield, mm -hmm. um, it's safe. So you could do, he, if you try to like whiff punish him or something, you'll get hit by, hit, hit by a button. Um, it's hard to edge guard game watch because that up B is like so fast and active. Yes. Uh, I does it still have? I don't remember if it was intangibility frames. It had some sort of frames on the early startup, frame four or something. But oh, I can't not, I'm not 100 sure. I can't. I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. can't say but he definitely seems like his tools are working out right now. Um, his neutral actually, honestly, isn't that bad. It seems like Chef was buffed a little bit. Maybe it's the same. Oh no. Yeah, Chef was buffed, but um. His weight didn't, so that's why he just... Yes. Up. Unfortunately, even though he can do the cooking pretty well, he still gets cooked early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still, gets so. the, still gets the mix. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of, with an advantage like this, Ray is particularly good, in my opinion. I've played a couple games with him uh, at really walling you out when he has an advantage like this. And Game & Watch has good aerial mobility, but not necessarily great speed. Uh, he's good for baiting, so being at a disadvantage like this and trying to get in on Palutena, who has really good disjoints, pretty good combo game, and is quite lethal at pretty much any range you want to try to engage her at, this seems like it'd be difficult to come back from. Yeah, oh. so you know what's really rough about this matchup? Um, He's 2D, so, so he burns like so, paper, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, besides that, that's a very good point. But um, so thing about Palutena at lower percents, you you shouldn't jump at Palutena, because if you jump at Palutena, you're gonna get nared, you're gonna get nared, nair wobbled across stage, and then you're gonna eat like 40 percent, and then you're gonna be in disadvantage. You're either gonna be above her, or you're gonna be um off stage, mm -hmm. right? So like, usually like the rule of thumb at lower percents is that like, you kind of stay grounded. And a lot of Penta's approaches at like around like zero to ten, he was jumping at her a lot, mm -hmm. um, and he just like eight percent for it. And like Nair's like a pretty good dish joint. so I mean, yeah, get mixed. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because Gavin Watch does have um, the disjoints, but with the bomb, uh, the key, uh, the tortoise, the turtle, mm -hmm. the back air, whichever your preferred animal of choice is. Um, they're good, but I don't know that they're solid enough to challenge something like Palutena Nair, especially when you're the one trying to play into her as opposed to the other way around. Yeah. But goes to the counter pick for Battlefield. Let's see how Penta deals this time. Probably looking for the combos like that. Good string with the fishbowl. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by Penta. Mm. Yeah, so Ray's just trying to SDI off of the platform. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard for him, like... The way, the way SDI works in this game is kind of just like um, time based. Mm -hmm. So it's like after I forgot, after a certain amount of frames, you can start SDI or something like that. I forgot what the exact number is. What, when he was on that platform, was he mashing or was he delaying it slightly? Because it seems like it's slower than Smash 4 if he was mashing. Oh, Penta? No, he was yeah. just hitting him. Okay. 
Yeah, no, he's just huge. He's a body. Spacing him out in the neutral, commits to the chef, which unfortunately gets him pushed off the stage. Yeah. So yeah, he because he he did not me he's not messing with that down there. He knows he can't punish it. <laughs> Automatic good recovery option. Ooh, yeah. Doesn't no. get the two frame, but that's a good call. Yeah, that two frame is crazy. He had the same cap type of two frame in Smash Four also. Mm -hmm. Now, if he two frames with it when it's off stage, does it just send up like the old one? Um, yes. Okay. You could you could get yeah the straight up hitbox. Sometimes it'll send you like down and away. Mm -hmm. Oh, just misses the punish on the forward tilt. Yeah, pixels away. Off stage, so the recovery isn't a big deal. That was a ballsy dodge. <laughs> All right. So Game & Watch also, recovery not being too big of a deal, especially because he has very quick recovery and a fairly flexible one. Good bucket. Things are really scary now, especially if he takes his own meaties with the explosive flame. Yeah, just, just space that out appropriately. See, now I didn't see how much bucket he got from that explosive button. Oh, so he yeah, did get yeah, oil yeah. panic. No yeah. shield break on that, though. That yeah, was a full, smart idea, though. Full bucket, apparently. Uh, it's going to take a little more than one bucket to get Palutena out of there. Yeah, and right now, Ray is just, like, waiting. You know, low percentage, he's just waiting. He, he, wants, he wants Penta to jump in the air. He wants to get a grab. He wants to get these nair started. Spacing him out, but still, he's very good at keeping stage control as well. Ray likes to weave quite a bit, but never far enough that you're like, oh, well, I can start moving in on Ray. You know, I can, I can take this. He'll challenge. Speaking of challenge, though, beats out the up air with the down air. That was a solid call there for Penza. Oh, yeah, he, just, he was just not he was not afraid at all. He just did it. Um, no, he's actually kind of deceptive to challenge. Like, it'll trade more often than not if it doesn't beat you outright. Yeah, I mean, Dare's always been like that. Down air has always been, like, a pretty good hitbox coming downwards. Yeah, Offs for the early parachute. Air dodge is back on stage. Only it's the jab. That could have been a lot worse. So he gets off kind of scot free, but he's now at the ledge. Okay, up there. Oh, yeah. Gets scooped. Okay, on the last knock for Penta. Mm -hmm. All right, not bad. Good string. Hazard in the air. Warp, definitely difficult to punish on the stage like Battlefield, especially if uh, Ray knows the auto cancel oh, spacing. Yeah. That was an interesting call. I've never seen. Oh no. Okay. He's oh back. yeah, no, he's back. Yeah. Uh, that was an interesting call with the fair to try to meaty his normal get up and then covering with the up smash. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have much to lose in that, in that scenario. Anyway. Not at all. Whoa, 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 still okay. manages to bucket yeah, the explosive flame. This is still very doable. Bucket quite fast. Oil spill. Oh, oh yeah, you no. Died. Never mind. You the key to victory was not with the down air this day. Yeah, I mean, um, it's kind of rough. I mean, it's not it's not really a lot that Game Watch can do mm -hmm. um, in certain situations, like landing-wise. Like I said before, like sometimes you just have to reset. Mm -hmm. And um, fighting your way down you know, isn't the best option. Because, you know, a lot of characters really can't compete with Game Watch down there. So yes. 